<laughs> Look at your shirt, that's, bro. That's oh, I don't even. Need, I thought I had to zoom in. You can see it from everywhere. You guys, hello, welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. New episodes Monday through Friday. Hey, today's Monday through Friday, and today we're going to the boiler room for some epic looking pizza. So glad you're here. Yeah, guys, and also, this week we're running a poll. Forever people have been asking us to bring back a handful of shirts. We want this design, we want this design, we want this design. You know how we do it, once we sell out, we let it be, it's done forever. We're gonna bring back one shirt, back from the dead, for our Patreon folks, and dependent on what our Patreon folks ask for. So it's in the poll, up live on Patreon, go and vote, figure out what shirt you guys wanna come back from the dead, and we're gonna make it happen for you guys. We're excited to see that uh, that happen. And if you're not a Patreon now, you can sign up and vote and then get the shirt. So sign up on Patreon and then stay to the end of this video. We're gonna ask you guys a very important question that we want your comments on. So here we go, pizza time. First time at Boiler Room on the show, a big old massive $40 pizza from Boiler Room acquired jump cut. All right, Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, look at that bad boy right there. So what do we got on here? We got marinara sauce, house blend of mozzarella and, mozzarella and provolones, pepperoni, sausage, bacon, garlic, red onions, green peppers, banana peppers, and serrano peppers. And we're gonna suck it down. Lot going on. Very good looking. Trying to rip it well, but whatever. <laughs> it's all right. I'm sick of working today. <laughs> sick of it. I want a beer. <laughs> all right, Corey. Pizza review number five billion. Yeah, right. How they cut this? It's pretty well. I was mad when I walked in. The guy didn't immediately offer me a shot of Jameson. <laughs> I felt a little let down by that. God, look at. I mean, this is a beautiful pie. This is so it's New York. So beautiful. This reminds me of Dante's. Dude, it does. Right. Look at that thing. Okay, I knew that was gonna happen. Careful. Careful, look at it. It's huge. Dante's Inferno Pizza. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my god. Boom. That's an incredible taste. I didn't even know what they did to the bottom of this. They cover it. With all those little speckles. Wow. I think they cut this kind of wild. I gotta eat this whole thing. Dude, this is the whole size of my whole fist. <laughs> Let's All right, little boiler room pizza. Cheers. Cheers. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. It's there my speed right here. It's just like Dante's. Same thinness, good little like, cornmeal. cornmeal on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Crisped up, real nice. All the ingredients are all nice and salty. Mm hmm. Mm. I don't know why I agree with that. I'm not sure if these are salty ingredients. The pizza might be salty. Do you think they salt their ingredients? Banana peppers are so salty. Are they? Oh my god. I just agreed with you out of instinct and then was like, don't agree with stuff you don't agree with. <laughs> I was like, now I gotta backtrack. I don't know if these ingredients are salty. Trust me, this pepperoni and these banana peppers are salty. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I probably can't see on camera. Yeah. That's all that cornmeal and stuff. Not cornmeal, that probably flour. It's like flour. Mm -hmm. I think that's always the sign of a good pizza. I think so too. Cornmeal and flour on the bottom. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So tasty. Damn. I do, I mean, I know this is New York style, so it's like supposed to be like, I just wish the pieces were like a little more manageable. Yeah, it's massive, the way they cut it too. Yeah. This is for sure two slices we're eating in one. But the taste though, all the ingredients go well together so well. I know. I'm traditionally somebody that doesn't like this many toppings on a pizza. Yeah, sometimes you can do too much. Yeah, I think like just because you can do a lot of it doesn't necessarily mean it's better. Mm -hmm. I, my rule is normally three toppings and lower. Mm -hmm. But Dante's in this place are getting away with it. Yeah, I think that's a great rule to live by, by the way. Yeah. I think the Sixer, uh, the Sixer family needs to take that wheel in, or that rule into consideration. I think if you're doing more than three, uh, four is okay, but more than that, I think you're trying to make up for your pizza not being that good. I know, I totally get what you're saying. It's like putting too much on a burger, like, mm -hmm. same concept. Burgers that are good don't need more than cheese, a condiment, 
and maybe one other thing. Special sauce. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe some bacon, but a special sauce, a good cheese, and then a burger. That's all you need. Pizza, the crust, the sauce, the cheese are good. You can throw one or two more things on there and you're great. Man, I love this. Yeah, this is very good. I just think that Chicago needs more New York style pizza joints. I'm here for it. Oh my god, I, I've gotten to a part that's a little too powdery. It looks like how thick that is. Tony Soprano. Do you do coke? Yeah, I snort dust. Yeah. <laughs> good crisp on the crust on the edge here. Very good. It's about my ears look like. Not to mention this place is such a good drinking place. I just think I just grabbed the wrong one. That that was I, all these bikes extra flowery. They're making my saliva all stick. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's talk about this price. Now, granted, forty dollars for a pizza sounds absurd, mm -hmm. but this is a ton of pizza. Mm -hmm. So if you got like a couple of these pizzas for like a big party kind of thing, or you went there with a group of six and ate there, you could probably get away with it. You have to bring. Your own pizza cutter to be yeah. able to like split the pizza up a little bit. Right, better. bring your own a BYOPS PC. slicer. Okay, okay. Cut PC. <laughs> and it sounds crazy, but it's like not so far away from the average price. Like I, I feel like I see the thirty-two dollars is a price I see a lot for pizzas. Uh huh. This was thirty-eight. Thirty-eight before tax. So six extra dollars, and it's now. Granted, the ones I see for thirty-two are usually pretty big, but I don't think they usually have this many ingredients. This is a lot of ingredients. Right. Like, I want to say Dante's might have been up there like that. I think they were. Man, this part that is overflowered is unfortunate, though. Yeah, that's... That's yeah. almost an unedible part. But I just had bad luck on that. It is a very powdery pizza. This one is, too. Nothing like yours, but pretty... Yeah, I saw the bottom of yours. Pretty really powdery, good. though. Yeah, like, these all look good. Look, look at that. It's not... There's nothing. Mm -hmm. I had a cake. That must have just been an honest mistake. I mean, look at these, my hands. It looks like you made the pizza. Like, you're, you do have that a little bit too, but yeah. nothing like yours. I just, this is my bad luck. I always, even if we get, we're sharing this, yeah. I get the worst life. You literally picked the wrong one. Yeah. You bad luck. What did you, who'd you piss off in another life? Man, no kidding. That flavor is very good though. Mm -hmm. I really, really like the sausage on it. I thought the sausage is great. Fantastic sausage. And the pepper choices. We've talked about this plenty of times, and I know people in the crowd agree because they've been commenting recently yep. about banana pepper and love. Yep. It's so good. It's incredible. This is some of the best ingredient combination I've had. This is excellent. This also, by the way, is the type of pizza that you have to oven or air fry. You cannot microwave this type of a pizza as it leftovers. So loose, and so light. soggy. Would just like all the peppers would just get like like juicy and like watery. Yeah, yeah. You need a crispy option. So that's my. Look at your shirt, that's, bro. That's I don't like even. Need, I thought I had to zoom in. You can see it from everywhere. That, I got such a weirdly flowered. That they just put way too much flour in one spot. You look like you were tossing dough up in yeah, there. Yeah, that's crazy. And so for me to still like that, <laughs> with a slightly bad experience. That's the endorsement. Yeah, that is. Tells you how good this place is. I don't think I can eat anymore. That was I'm two stuck. slices. Well, I, you ate a fourth of the pizza. Yeah, yeah I think <laughs> I did. That's crazy. All right, you ready to rate it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, out of five boiler makers. How many Boilermakers do you give the Kohili, I want to say, pizza, 38 bucks, Boiler Room Cory? This is a great pizza. I really like it. I love New York style pizza. We don't have enough of it in Chicago. We need more of these. I thought the ingredients all worked really, really well together. Total fluke with the flour. I don't think that's the usual experience. I think that was a total fluke. Um, the price is a little like, I don't know if I'll ever be able to justify getting this. But what I will do is I'll go do the slice deal. Yeah, they got slices. I love going and getting a slice and a beer. Mm -hmm. I'll do that all day, bro. I That I'll do. I'm not going to go buy, oh, it's not spending 40 bucks on a pizza. It's no. just not my game. Right. But I'll go in there and get a slice all day. I'm not, because of that, because they have that option, which a lot of places in Chicago, surprisingly, don't have buy the slice options. Yeah, a not little, a thing here. Not a thing. A little upsetting. So I'm not taking off a huge amount because they do, not, most people aren't taking it in their freaking car like a bunch of weirdos. That's the type of place that you go in there and you get a beer and you get a shot and you get a slice. So not taking off a huge amount for that. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think it's a great pizza. I'm gonna go, the price is a little bit, get me so 4.75, so it's like right there. Holy shit, I didn't realize you were going that high. I mean, it's a really good pizza. It is. I, I, there's not enough New York slices in the uh, Yeah, I agree. I think this is really good, but to your point, yeah, I think it's it's a better slice joint. I think you'd have to go there with like at least six people to split a pizza, a yeah. social pizza, where mm -hmm. you're, because when you go out to eat at a place like you're drinking, you don't eat like you would at home on the couch. Yeah. So you're probably only having what we had, and yeah. then, you know, so you'd have enough for five other people, potentially. Yeah. 
Um, price is high, but really good. I'm so glad that a bar like that has great food. I'm not going as high as Corey, but damn good. I'm going 4-4. Four, four. Wow. It's just one of the better pizza. Like, it is. There's just not enough of this type of pizza. Like this, Jimmy's and Dante's is all I can think of. I know. So I'm like, well, if you make me, bro, if you want a cheat code to get a good rating on number six cheese, just make a New York style pizza. <laughs> and I'm probably going to be like above a 4-5. And then email us that you have it. Yeah, I'll <laughs> probably be like, all right, let's go. I truly wish... Not wish. The next time I get boiler room, I'm just getting a piece of pepperoni. I want to try like the the like the like easy Jeez. one. Oh, I thought you meant literally a piece of pepperoni. Oh, no, no, no. I was no. Like, what the a hell slice, is this? A kid slice. I'm getting. About. I'm just getting a I'm pepperoni. So stupid. Um, <laughs> like I want to try their like, basic okay. one. Their real basic so one. Just ask them to microwave a pepperoni. Yeah. All my favorite New York style slices when I go to New York are just one topping. That's Because the pizza move, itself is great. I didn't need all this. Shit. But it was great, but I didn't need it. Especially all. a drinking pizza. Yeah, it's a drinking pizza. It's a DP. Yeah, you just want one one uh, one ingredient on there, man. I'm I agree. You. I'm with you. Yeah. All right. How about this here today? What do you guys think the number of toppings that is allowed on a great pizza? I love that. Maybe you're somebody who thinks we're insane and you're fine with seven or eight toppings. Like my dad, growing up, always would get like ones with five or six, and I was like, this is ridiculous. You yeah. get like a meat lovers and a supreme together. Yeah, it's a very American. We but, always want as much of the things. Yeah, I'd see, not me. I guess I'm European or something. Yeah. Uh, so let us know, what is the number? If you don't want it, it doesn't have to be a big comment, just write a number down below of what you think the maximum amount of toppings that is allowed on a pizza, and we'll comment with you guys here today. I'm gonna write mine. I'm gonna write three down low. Yeah, I, I'm gonna do the same thing. It's gonna be the same, same response. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode. Thanks for rocking with us. And uh, you can tell how huge this it's thing massive. Is so massive. It's like the camera will never do it the justice it deserves. Like truly, look at this guy. He can't get out. He's Dwarfing he's me. literally dwarfed. All right, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Thanks for being here. Go vote on that poll on Patreon.